What to do, what to do. This is the Brothers on Books podcast, where we find great books that will give you real value and actionable steps and have fun in the process. Please reach out to us at brothersonbooks at gmail.com for any book recommendations or if you'd like to be a guest host for a particular book you have in mind. A great review or rating on whichever platform you're listening to this would be greatly appreciated. And lastly, if you can think of any friend, family member, or coworker that might like this episode, please pass it along. I am Jack Allwile. I apologize if you were expecting to hear Alistair Humphreys today. Due to a scheduling conflict, we pushed his episode back a couple weeks, but he will be on, and we are very much looking forward to having him on. So this week, I'm going to do a solo recap and goal setting for the new season. So far in season three, the books that I read either as a solo mission or with Al, were The Bookseller of Kabul, Sandy is the Future of Wealth, Brunch of Giants, 32 Lessons of a 10-Day Fasting Retreat, Becoming Your Own Banker, Inside Out Coaching, Gimme Shelter, The Compound Effect, One Breath Becomes Air, The Coddling of the American Mind, and lastly, The Go-Giver. I guess I want to start off this while I really like these books I think sometimes people might lose track of why we're reading these and why we read in general and we want to learn things of course but we want to implement that into our lives and reading has definitely transformed my life and I at least want to share that with all of you in 2016 I lost my job it was kind of a reset period in my life. And when I discovered reading in that time, it really helped me along and moved the needle with my decisions and my actions. So that being said, between now and when I'm recording this, it is September 10th to the end of the year, I'm going to basically set some goals that I've kind of based off of what we've read And part of it is just being more grateful, but I really want to have this last push to the end of the year be about really just giving value. And in The Go-Giver, the last solo mission I did, it talks about the law of value and the law of compensation. And the law of value is, you know, just give more value than you're taking in payment. And law of compensation is... You know, you're compensated basically off of how many people you can help and how you're helping them, how well you're helping them. So with that being said, I want to amplify how much I'm giving to the community. I want I want to post three times per week in my personal YouTube channel. I've gotten requests to talk about some of my house hacking that I talk about on other podcasts, investing saving and budgeting. So I'll be talking about those topics on my personal YouTube channel. I've mentioned it a little bit on this podcast about the real estate class I took a couple months ago on buying and selling vacant land. And I kind of want to amplify that and send an average of 30 letters per day to prospective sellers And hopefully we can get people that are looking for land, land, and we'll make some money in the process. And hopefully those 340 some letters that I send out, hopefully we get six or seven deals from that. Um, I think I want to take this, this midpoint to just say, if you're enjoying the books we're reading, we'd really like to hear it. If there's a book you don't really want to read, but you'd like us to read it and summarize it for you, please let us know at brothersonbooks at gmail.com. We really want to know how you're liking the book selections, and we'd like to get to know you a little more. And on the more like physical well-being side, I, I would like to intermittent fast, at least during the working week. And they, did, Ellen discussed that on her episode, episode 46. So 
I, I'd like to intermittent fast at least during the working week. And hopefully I'll start feeling a little better. I've been traveling a lot, it feels, and haven't been eating the best. So um, these small changes will hopefully produce great results, a la the compound effect, episode 51. And with that, I think I will close out for the night. I hope everyone is enjoying the book selections. And if not, please let us know. So please reach out to us at brothersonbooks at gmail.com for any book recommendations, or if you'd like to be a guest host for a particular and a great review or rating on whichever platform you're listening to this would be greatly appreciated. And lastly, if you can think of any friend, family member, or coworker that might like this episode, please pass it along. For the original episodes, the OGs, please visit brothersonbooks.com. Take care.